Hi there everyone, it's Lily again, back with another video. Today we're gonna do a haul at Ross, and I've been seeing quite a bit of people shopping at Ross, seeing so many clearings, so a lot of dollar deals. I think I might be late for that, but we're gonna go check it out and see what we can find. And I'm not looking for into particular, so that's the best part. We're just gonna go see what's on sale and what they have in stock. Another thing, if you're new to my channel, feel free to subscribe like and share this video i'm so happy that you're here i make videos weekly all about fashion and lifestyles and hauling anyways you're all gonna really like this video let's go see what's inside all right let's get started and going to ross the first thing actually when i stepped into ross is how empty it is I didn't get a chance to even form a line. I was just walked in, they didn't check anything, they didn't require any kind of mask. But as you can see, we missed it. It looks like it. Looks like everybody taken everything off the shelf. I couldn't even get bar soap. They weren't anything. We'll work, purchase all of that as well. The wallets were completely empty and I have never seen it this bare ever in my experience. However, the sock area was pretty plentiful, but you can imagine a lot of the sandals and the footwear is on sale and gone for the summer. So there are some sizes here, but mostly just the awkward sizes. And heading towards the makeup, there is very little chances for high-end makeup up here just the leftover Kate Von D or some random color shades oh you would not believe it the bag area is gone I can barely see any bags on here I can count how many bags there are on the shelves right now here being hanging and all of these bags are generally the bags no one really wants or sometimes they're leftovers but I have to say they're all marked down they're either on clearance or reduced price but there it is and we are very late but there's some chances to find some cute stuff if you dig or you actually check out the, the size or the style but prices are very affordable a lot more cheaper obviously there's hardly any hats but the single adidas bag that's hanging Heading over to the seasonal stuff, of course, there's really nothing. There's some plates, there's some awkward stuff, maybe a pop control fat pack, but that as far as I find here. Heading over to the closing, this is the pajama section, and this is one of the most packed section to be honest. I'm not sure why, but all these are on clearance and they are kind of mixed with some of the dresses here as well but the pajamas are the least of your liking here we are again at the dresses the dresses is the most fullest place i gotta say it's packed with so many clothes and dresses that are reduced price of course these have been picked over and over again but i gotta say sometimes you get lucky and you find some dresses that are really ta really really cute but if you're looking to shop for dresses definitely ross has a ton of them so i'm seeing a tons of people actually carrying handfuls of dresses that they're purchasing i even found this romper was about 3.99 for a romper all of this is significantly reduced just to make room for new inventory that's coming in for the season of course Ross has experienced a downfall in their financial income due to the pandemic I'm not surprised that they reduced all of their stuff to make room for inventory and also to make up for the loss they've they created so we can, don't know how long Ross is going to be open but I highly suggest you check it out because there is not another time that I know where there's going to be su such an abundance of clearance. I found a variety of really cute dresses. It looks like the ladies here are working to pour more inventory into Ross and I see uh, quite a bit of gems being left behind that you could definitely add to your wardrobe. Also keep in mind the fitting rooms at Ross are not open so if you do purchase any of these things um, that you won't be able to try them on. So better rest assured you buy a product that for sure will fit you. Of course they still offer the 30 day policy to return which is awesome because I know a lot of stores are not accepting returns or exchange at all. Due to 
the coronavirus and the pandemic, but Ross is still offering that. Looking at the front where you are at the checkout line, they don't have a lot of selections of water bottles or goodies at front. It seems like a lot of people have also picked that out on the way of to the register but heading to the sports section it's a lot more bare you can find maybe 10 pieces the most 20 pieces or less hanged up of the leggings and as well as the tops these are kind of the leftover ones that are assumed a little more expensive but also awkward in sizing like this under armor all of this is i gotta say 15 dollars and below i have not seen anything that isn't thing to the women's top there is a variety of tops still available but as you can tell there are a lot of shirts that are pretty much gonna be the same shirt that no one's purchasing it I gotta say it's still quite a bit of selections that you can get here I, there are all the classic tops from tank tops to graphic t-shirts of flowers California t-shirts and really basic things that you can add to your wardrobe I end up actually liking this tie-dye one that was only $4.99 but again there are some cute floral shirts I gotta say you should add to your wardrobe some staple pieces that you can definitely add to your staple closet um, if you're looking for just a simple top, I gotta say it, Ross has it at a really, really cheap price and definitely a lot of crop tops here as well and I guess the flower spring season graphic tees are really popular in this section. Moving forward to the furniture place, Ross doesn't allow you to sit on it or return any of the furniture to be honest, but there is some furniture that's still on sale, but I can tell there's some new ones that have never been marked down. There is some furniture as well that I think brand new because they are not marked down or any kind of indication for that. Looking at the decoration section, I was looking to search for a vase for my plants, but it doesn't seem like there's really any kind of decor that I would really like, but they still have some really nice inspirational quote decor that you definitely need for office or your home there's not a lot of posters to be honest or anything like that at all I don't even want to get started on the kids section this is really pretty much what I found at the kids section and it's empty all right guys we're back from Ross and I'm sure if you've seen the first clip that's pretty much empty I have to tell you all the stuff in Ross right now is all clearance price marked down there's several stuff I think they just barely got brand new that's not marked down but I gotta say like 80% of the stuff at Ross are marked down and we found some good stuff on here uh, mostly for my fiance I personally on the women's aisle did not find anything like it i did not find hardly anything but i'm going to show you what i got for right now for my fiance most of the time and a, one thing i got myself we got first thing is some jeans these are from um Biel. i have never heard of this brand rebel. art Re rebel luxury denim and these are really stretchy honestly um these are not for me <laughs> if you're wondering they're actually for my fiance and they it's like a it's like a light uh blue wash and a straight fitted jean it's super stretchy the first time ever to see actually stretchy pants for men which i don't understand why a lot of men don't have stretchy denims i would assume they want the fit but this one was actually on a really good deal um and you can see right here it was 9.99 right Yep. and it was originally about 20 bucks I gotta say or 14.99 I don't know somewhere around there but it was a significant big drop and I'm sorry if you hear a little thumps and all that because it's raining it's pouring outside like we're in my car and it's pouring um, we're in the middle of June and it's pouring like every day it's kind of normal for us where we're living at so we're in the West Coast it rains all the time so and then the second thing that we got is um, this jean called, um, called Free Planet. And this is pretty much also a flexible um, jean, stretchy. For again, first time I found jeans for my fiance, well he found himself that was stretchy. So this is a dark wash. It has some kind of stretch design on here in the front, if you can see, can you see? Yeah. 
Yeah, and this one was a good deal. This one was $9.99, and I'm sure this one was would be worth around $20, um, just for my opinion. But there was there was a lot of things on clearance, especially for apparently my fiance found a lot of stuff for men. He actually going to use these pants for work, so he doesn't really care if he gets all dirty and all that. Um, and then he got himself another uh, dry fit Nike shirt. It's just a plain white one. This one wasn't on clearance. Um, of course, I'm not surprised, $12.99. Nike hardly gets on sale, but if you buy something Nike at, at Ross, it's all very significantly really cheap anyways. So he just got himself a basic white tee. It has the Nike Swish logo on the side of the corner. Um, it's a really basic tee, but it's staple pieces. And I gotta say, I really like it myself. Oh my, I want it myself. <laughs> so I'm glad he got that shirt. This one is um, actually the only thing I got to be honest because <laughs> there wasn't anything but this one was $4.99 and this shirt is from Sunset Glow and I was just like I love this color like it's tie-dye 100% rainbows everywhere literally everywhere isn't it it's like so cool right it's pretty cool, it's pretty cool. I wasn't sure why it, to be honest this shirt looks a little small I'm a size small but this is actually an extra large you can see yeah I don't know why it's an extra large. Like if it's me, I'm small. Like I'm a true small. And sometimes I might get medium if I want to size up, but this is like definitely, I don't know, maybe it's for kids or something, but it was sitting in the women's aisle and I just snatched it up because tie-dye is so in and the style never really goes out of fade. I've been thinking of dyeing some of my clothes and do that tie-dye phase, like those videos. But honestly, like I've already really liked the shirts that I have. And so when I bought this, it was just like, oh, this is great. I can use it for the gym. I can use it when I go out. Definitely great uh, option. And this was only $4.99. Again, I think we spent about like $40 for about five things, which is really great. All of the stuff are about $10 and below. What we find was pretty scarce. There's quite a bit of people in there, even when there isn't even a line. There's no line at all, but they're pretty much cleared out <laughs> for sure. And it's a true clearance there. But I also want to thank everyone for tuning in my videos and I really hope you had a great time with me and enjoying this day. Um, again, thank you so much for tuning in. Please subscribe, like and share this video. I hope you join me in my channel. Until next time, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.